Hey everybody, Whiskey Boy 288 here, or Foo Fighter 288 if you follow me on YouTube. Eric Saito if you read my work on Hub Pages. I know it's been a few nights since I've done this, but we're back to another actual episode of starting over in GTA Online. Of course, what I'm gonna do is start off by selling a car. I can find one that's not too hot. It's always good to try parking lots before you go carjacking somebody. Looks like it's going to be some easy objectives tonight, too. So, uh, what you can do to bribe the cops and cause chaos. Well, you know what? Yeah, not here. Parking lot's a good place to do it, but not with one that has my personal vehicle parked in the middle of it. Let's just go sell this. Set my timer. Okay, he was fat. No one cares. And uh, once I set the timer, I'll come blow up some stuff and I'll show you how that, uh... Yeah, it could have been awkward. Not that this is my car. It's still, you know, if I can avoid crashing, I'll do it. Um... A couple nights ago, and I wish the hell I had known this a couple episodes earlier. Otherwise, I wouldn't waste so much time with it. But uh, I regret to inform you that uh, doing solo races around criminal records does not unlock upgrades earlier. Like, um, here for the magic touch. To. I'm pretty sure, I swear, there was a time where I was able to do that, like, I don't know, six years ago, five years ago, but I think Rockstar has patched that since then. Hey, Siri, set timer for 48 minutes. So yeah, we're not going to be doing that anymore. I'll just wait until I'm rank 90, and then I'll uh, completely upgrade everything. You know, no more grinding, no more of that grinding crap with the uh, races, because that's just a waste of time for you and for me. So what I'm going to do tonight, after we get done doing the daily objectives, uh, I'm going to um, get around to finishing that Solomon Richards uh, prop yes, side quest thing. And like I said, these are easy objectives tonight, so these, these shouldn't be too long. But one thing I finally want to do, that I've been waiting a while to do, is I'm going to upgrade... Uh... Oh, jeez. Yeah, I'm going to be hiccuping like crazy. Oh, probably burping too. Hey, whatever gets it out, you know. Just be lucky you can't hear the farts. Actually, no, it's not coming out that way. TMI, TMI, whatever. Let's just, let's just upgrade this what car. What miracle did you want gonna, me to perform? At the very least, I'm going to change the goddamn color on it. I'm getting sick of looking at white. Of course, then again, a lot of people are getting sick of looking at white these days. But in this particular case, I want to... So, like I was trying to tell you in an earlier episode... <laughs> Before I realized they were level uh, level locked, what you can do. If you're not, if you haven't been aware of this. You can take a really, really, really dark color. Like in this case, I think I'm gonna do. Yeah, I'm gonna do wine red since we got it. You take a, a really dark base color, and you go down. Uh, that's under metallic. That is, and you go down to pearlescent. And you can put an outer color on it. Well, I can't. I can't top my my best lap. I mean, you know, there's only so much you can do with the car upgrades you got. You know, you got to like upgrade your car even better to. See, that's a nice. Ooh. All right, I might come back to that one. 
I don't care if it costs 20 grand. That looks sexy as fuck right there. You know what? We're getting this. Yeah, we're doing this for a while. Until I get tired of it and I want to, you know, buy a different, uh... Now you can really manage those RPMs. Most importantly, we're upgrading all of the, the acceleration. I already got the... the yeah. All right, there we go. Hi there. All right, so for the first objective, when it's when it says bribe the cops and cause havoc. Another one of those situations where you call Lester and it's going to cost you five grand. So you're really only going to make twenty-five grand out of this. How whole can scheme. I be of service? There you go. But now you can either just blow up every car you come across as you're driving along, or what I like to do, I like to go to, a, I like to go to a parking lot. I really probably should have did this before I went driving around looking for the parking lot. Because you only get like three minutes to do this part. That's okay. You got plenty of time. The car's a little faster now. Yeah, there it is. Well, not the one I was looking for, but this will this will not do. Alright, fuck it. What you do... Say you were at a parking lot. What you do is you go through your weapons just start tossing like grenades on parked cars. Or actually even uh yeah. Yeah, thought they would have spawned in. Yeah basically just start blowing up cars and shit and uh, that gets you the objective. But I was trying to be nice and I was trying not to blow up civilians but Sure, there's a parking lot down this way. Probably next block over. Oh, it doesn't matter. Here's some more parkings. Oh wait, I was one block off. Okay, yeah, here's the parking lot. If I'm gonna blow up parked cars, I might as well blow up like you know yuppies parked. A rich uh, neighbor, but kind of a bitch. I guess this is the part of the video where I would, you know, say, yeah, time of day might affect, but I, I have no fucking idea. I don't know. I, don't really know. I, I know I don't like buses, so that, that'll work. There we go. And that objective's taken care of. Sometimes it's like five cars, sometimes it's ten, you know. So now for the next one, Impossible. participate in a featured series. What you do with that, pause the game, go to your map, Christ. and just kind of go down, you know, the list here. Press down on the D-pad to go down the list. It'll take you around all the different symbols. Because I don't know what the featured series is this week. It changes from week to week. Where the hell... God, I hope I don't have to Google it. I probably passed right by it, but I was busy talking and I didn't fucking... Oh, Christ, yeah, of course, there it is. Alright, so what you can do is you can just hover over it and then press either the X button or the square button and, you know, save you from having to drive all the way to the symbol. What the fuck? Oh, god damn it. Alright, new plan with this. Uh, <laughs> since I gotta go into a public lobby anyway hey, to do the uh, the other objective, let's just go ahead and go to a public lobby. As I get the feeling if I try to join a 
featured series there. It'll be like immediately into something. Yeah, I'm not gonna participate in that. Yeah, you know, I mean, we could do the business battle, but you know, there's also a chance that since I don't have a night nightclub, if I go to uh, deliver the you know the whatever the fuck it is I pick up to the location that they want me to drop it off at, I'm, it's probably not gonna work like it did last time. So screw that. But since we are in a public lobby, I have to hire a player for my motorcycle club. So to do that, go to motorcycle club, find prospects, and now I'm just gonna spam invites until one of these schmucks, uh, you know, comes joins the thing, and that uh, should do it. Wong Hung Lo is Vietnamese, so he doesn't understand what he's saying. Fuck, I don't even know if he understands what he's saying. He might be speaking Vietnamese for all I know. And you can also try hiring rivals. Yeah, you basically just, you know, I don't really plan, I'm, I don't really have any, any, you know, motorcycle club shit to do. You know, I'm just trying to, of course, trying to invite somebody to your motorcycle club is kind of a, it's kind of a moot point, you know, I mean, you, you know how many, you know, motorcycle club invites you get every time you go into a free mode session? It's like, hey, this person wants you to join their motorcycle club, and you're like, ah, fuck that, I'm in the middle of my own thing. That's, yeah. I thought this is probably going to be the hardest objective to actually pull off. So let's go do the f featured series and then we'll come back to another session and see if uh, we can get some poor bastard to... There we go. I don't think I've ever played this game mode. I have no idea what the fuck is even what you do in it. I think this is kind of like, uh, uh, what, what the hell is that one game mode in the Battlefield series where you, where you capture the flags? Over, over, Lord, overdrive, capture mode. I don't know. Jesus Christ, we look like a. Fucked up boy band from hell. Oh, yeah, we're gonna die. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yeah, it's, it's one of there's there's a, there's several reasons why I avoid PvP in this game. <laughs> you just witnessed like one of them. <laughs> oh, let's see how fucked up this is gonna be, everybody. Oh, okay, so it is kind of like um, whatever the hell the name of that capture mode is. I think I have played this before.
shit, we got heavy artillery. Shit, fuck. That is not the way to flank. A real gun, that'd be useful. We're still ahead, but still, eh. Holy shit, I got MVP? PvP more often. Not bragging, I'm just saying, you know. We're gonna continue with those Solomon Richards props. Guys, I've been holding off on that crap for way too long, people. And it's all because I had some misguided idea that I might be able to unlock uh, uh, vehicle mods sooner, and I apologize for that. What the fuck? What just happened? Uh, just got a. What the hell just happened there? I got a cash bonus, and then I thought I had completed my dailies. I was like, wait, what the fuck? How did I? You know what I hate is when there's a goddamn notification pops up from one of these fucking characters in this game that I don't give a fuck about, right in the middle of me trying to invite people to something, and then it makes the whole goddamn list go crazy. See what I mean? Look at this. It's, fuck you, Martin. I don't give a shit about your open wheel race. God damn it, I'm trying to invite people. Damn. That's what does it. When you got this list open, and it's got 20-something players on the list, and you're trying to scroll down it, hitting the A button, 
some character sends you a fucking invite to something you don't give a crap about, and then suddenly it... Just, you know, the box goes real small. Fucking annoying. Much like these invites that I'm sending out to everybody. But, it, it's a purpose. There's a purpose to it. Bingo! There we go. Thank you, Mr. BSYG. Appreciate it. But, sorry for the cock tease. I just... God, I feel like I just... I feel like a woman who just used somebody. I apologize for that, but... I only needed you for my daily challenges. God bless you, sir, and have a good day. Or ma'am, or Matt, or whatever the hell you are. Thanks for the help. Alright, so now we're going back to invite only. So I don't get blown up by a Mark II or a Hydra. And I'm gonna... Where to next? You know what? I think I'm going to get a buzzard. I'll spawn in a buzzard. Start start my VIP up. Spawn that in and fly to the Altruus camp like I did in that other video. Just kind of swoop down. No, you know, that'll that'll break, that'll break that'll get the uh, buzzard all shot up. I don't want to do that. What I'm definitely going to do is I'm going to try to go after... I'm going to try to go after those, uh, those two random ones that spawn... The fuck? Name my VIP. I guess it's been too long since I was in it, or whatever. And we're already in Blaine County, so we're not going to be flying very far. Since these things cost 25 grand to pop, I better be uh, very gentle with it. All right, now one, one. <laughs> One thing I kind of learned the hard way going after these Solomon Richards props is when you're flying towards a location where they spawn, hold in on the right stick so you can look behind you. That way it'll make it a lot, a hell of a lot more likely for the game to load it in because um, if you're looking right at it, chances are it won't uh, pop up. Actually, it's a good idea to, especially if you're in a helicopter, kind of take your finger off of it, your thumb off of it so that you don't crash into something. All right, so no such luck with that one. Another thing is also session hopping helps. You know, I probably could just right now pause it, and go to another session, but I can't remember if you lose the helicopter when you do that. So let's go after this one at the Altruist camp. Except uh, what I'm going to do, unlike the uh, the main video where I showed you how to find these, I'm going to do some error, uh, take some of these guys out from up above before I go landing. Like I said, very unrealistic, but you know, fuck it, video games. They don't need. To, they don't always need to be realistic. They need to be fun. Yeah, there's the... I don't know what the hell this is. Very gently... Ew, that's not... Very gently... Down... There we go. Alright, getting the hell out of here. I, I honestly don't know what the hell prop that is, but it's, it's, it's like some kind of head. Zombie head, maybe. They all, they all seem to be fucking heads. You got an alien head, a mummy head. Whatever the hell that is head. You know. Basically, we're getting head. And we're taking it back to Solomon. And hopefully... 
hopefully the thing will spawn in now, right now. But now, we already got the van. We just got to get this pickup truck with the globe on it. And we got to get the hearse with the uh, mummy sarcophagus in it. And uh, that'll be it. Oh my god, I don't know why, I don't, I don't know if this is like because I don't own a personal buzzard or what the hell it is, or if I just haven't noticed it before, but I swear to god, I think I could fly a real helicopter faster than this. I mean, this is like watching two tortoises fuck. What is this? Come on. Okay, just over this next mountain is the, uh... Uh, whatever the hell the name of that place is that Michael meets Dave and has that big shootout at in single player. That's uh, Core Center or something. Okay. Anyway, that's where another one spawns or has the possibility of spawning. But not now, apparently. I don't want to, like which sessions here because otherwise it'll fuck up the uh, possibility of spawning. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this buzzard, I'm going to fly it down, park in this parking lot down here. I mean land, land in this parking lot, that's the anatomically correct term of, uh, for aircraft. We're going to land here and, and try switching sessions. See, when you're in invite-only session and you click Find New Session, it should send me right to a new invite-only session. Pretty sure of it. Oh, okay. Well, it's a public session, but it's only got two other people in it. See, this is the ideal public session right here. Unless they try to kick me out of it because they're, you know, trying to do biker stuff or whatever. I don't know. But while we're still here, we fly up to Polito Bay if that uh, Aaron Rebel with the big globe is going to pop up in the back of it. Usually it spawns right over... Oh! Oh my god! Speak of the fucking devil! Holy shit, it's like saying Bloody Mary. Alright, I think, I think this is it. Yep, I think this is it. Oh crap, I hope this is it and not one of those, one of those goddamn gang cars. Nope, that's it! That's the one! Hallelujah! Alright. Let me just park you right there. And we're gonna go take care of these redneck assholes. Now the only hard part is the long drive back to the uh but that's alright, it's cool. Jesus Christ, lady! Hey, you deserve to be knocked out at the wheel, dumbass. They don't even use turn signals in this game. If it isn't my creepy silent friend, how can I help? Okay, my friend, I'll take care of the LSPD. Leave it to me. I always kind of wanted to have one of these globes that has like a bar inside of it. But, you know, the problem to having a globe is, you know, with the political problems in different countries all the time, they're always constantly changing the names of, of all the countries. Like, I got this globe from my Aunt Ida that she got when she was a little kid and it's from like 1930 something you know it's got like the little metal rocketeer type looking plane on the bottom of it you know I mean it's like straight from the 1930s but dude going around looking at this looking at the globe there are countries on this map that don't even exist anymore I mean what what the f you know, if I wasn't driving I would I would look I would you know I, I might do a little mini video on it sometime and like uh, put it on YouTube or whatever. Show, show you guys this globe that she gave me when I was like a little kid. 
but this 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 thing has like countries on it that don't exist anymore and that's the i mean i mean every country in africa has had like five different names in the last 20 years you know but that's the that this globe is and that's what's crazy about globes you got to keep constantly updating them because uh you know fucking countries keep having civil wars and changing their names around and shit every 10 years like I don't even think Yugoslavia is on this thing. I think it's still like, yeah, I think it's still like Prussia or whatever is on this damn thing. But uh, you know, so globes are cool, but you know they're not accurate. But once again, if it's anything like this one, I wouldn't care as long as there's booze and stuff, and I can spin it around. You know, yeah, you know the other type of globes that are cool. There's ones that you can spin like no matter what direction. I don't mean the ones that are just stuck like horizontally, but the ones that spin vertically. Those are pretty fucking cool. You know, I had a great idea for a globe. And, you know, I don't know if it's already been invented or, or what, but, you know, if somebody knows Elon Musk or some, some somebody who's, like, smart, tell them to get in on this. What if we had, like, a globe that was just like a ball, basically a light, pretty much, right? And then, every time there was some kind of instability or some shit in another country or something, it, that, that, part of the, that, that part of the globe would update. You would just plug it into a USB port or something, and it was just like, oh, well, here's the current state of affairs and, or whatever. And that way you would have, like, a digital globe where, you know, it, like, tells you, you know, the countries, like an old school globe, different colors and all that. But then it could also, like, change depending on, like, say, Sudan or whatever decided to split up in the North and South Sudan or some shit. Or uh, the Republic of Congo decided to be the Republic of West Congo or whatever. Or whatever the fuck. You know how it is. Or Yugoslavia suddenly decided to come back together or, or, or you know, Ukraine got absorbed into Russia or whatever goofy shit's going on these days. That way the, the globe would just constantly up, update every... You know, every so often, depending on uh, depending on how things are, and like you could have different settings. Like you could have like little clouds go around it. I don't know how many gigabytes of data it would cost to have all this inside, but I guess all that could be inside the globe. You know? Yeah, digital globe. That'd be kick-ass. I'd pay like 300 bucks for some shit like that. All right, so does it cost my? Oh, okay, good. I've already got it out. Tomorrow. Is good. I don't want to have to. I was afraid I was gonna have to spend another twenty-five grand to. Uh... Of course, the thing is, if it was a digital globe that had a computer on the inside of it, I guess you wouldn't have any space for a bottle of scotch. My name's Whiskey Boy. I mean, I got priorities here. Shit, fuck balls! Did, okay, that building was closer than I thought it was. Alright, let me try going after the last vehicle. I don't know if it's gonna spawn because I'm in a... by myself now. Yeah, it's a shame I don't have any biker businesses up and running. This would be like the perfect, uh, <laughs> perfect, perfect uh, circumstance right here. My own public lobby. Yeah, that email reminds me. Let's go spin the lucky globe. I mean, the lucky fuck. See, I got, I got fucking globes and everything on my mind now, people. Yeah, right, well, let me go spin that lucky wheel. See what we get. I try not to do that during the mini suits. I try to just focus on the objectives during those. You know, so you guys don't miss nothing. And I don't know, I might go there, I might win, win a car or something. I don't want you guys to miss that stuff. Not that I wouldn't put it in the video, but it's just, you know. When I do the mini suits, that's just kind of like an in and out kind of thing. Like, Alright, let me go in, do the objectives, keep the streak going, and then scat. You don't own a Sterling GT. This is this is a hell of a nice car. That is a really damn nice car. That was like my favorite car. Wow, I forget what update that came out in. 
And I remember using that for like a solid year and a half after that car came out. That was like my go-to uh, free room car. Time to move. That was your peak, Julie. Why travel by car like a I'm a bitch. All right, looks like the last uh, nine minutes is going to be spent gambling. <laughs> okay. Oh, what the hell? You know. Just so I can do something useful. I'm gonna, I am going to show you one little trick that. So this is the inside track. There's two different types of horse racing in the casino. There's the, you know, the main event, and then there's the normal single event. Uh, okay, not these. Hang on. I'm trying to look for something that's even. I'd end up having to search every single computer screen before we do that. Okay, it looks like these are all the same fucking horses. Man, I've been saying fuck a lot tonight. I apologize for that, people. Normally, I don't, you know. Alright, so it looks like they may have patched that. Originally, what you could do, and I guess people were making bank off of it, was what you could do is go and bet at the normal, at the, you know, the single event. You would bet on the horse that's got evens. Not two to one, none of that. You would, you would bet on the one that does evens, and then 90% of the time that horse would win, and that'd be like an easy 10,000 10, chips. But it looks like Rockstar caught on to that, and that's no longer a thing. Go figure. Rockstar spent about as much time trying to, you know, prevent people from doing little different things like that in the game, and tried to maybe fix glitches like, hey, I can't deliver fucking business battle goods to a to a drop off point, you know. The game might be more fun, but I don't think they want you to make money. I don't want to sound like I'm a conspiracy theorist or anything, but I, I get the hunch that they're trying us not to make money. Red nine. Another Okay, so there's an old trick, right? You go into a casino, you always bet on black. But if you're in an Indian casino, you always bet on red. Hello there. Your discretion advised, because uh, I don't know if that, that, you know, I don't know if that actually works. So make sure you do the minimum bet if you try it. Okay, now you walk Sorry, away. Maybe next time now you walk. Better. See, that's the key to that's the key to going to a casino. It's one thing to play a couple hands of blackjack. But you don't walk away after you lose the first time. You walk away after you lost the second hand. That's when you walk. Starving. All right. Well, it depends on how much money you got on you. I mean, if you're fickle as hell like I am, then yeah, they're not fickle. Well, frugal, frick, well, fickle and frugal. If you're fickle and frugal like I am, when you go into a casino and you lose one hand, you just kind of stick there until you start losing, and then it's like, yeah, okay, well, I'm gonna go. You know, you might not win a whole lot, but at least you won't be like Burt Reynolds in that movie. Yeah, people talk about horror films and shit. Now, watch Burt Reynolds in Heat. And, oh, well, not the Michael Mann movie, Heat. I'm talking about the 1987 movie, Heat. That They remade it into Wild Card with uh, uh, Jason Statham, which was an okay movie, but Burt Reynolds' version was way better. You know, no offense to Jason Statham, but, you know, Burt Reynolds, you know, Burt Reynolds up here, Jason Statham down there. Anyway, Heat was a great movie. Even the Michael Mann movie, Heat. Not, not the 1995 movie, Heat. The, the 1987 movie, Heat. Burt Reynolds, where he plays that guy who lives in Vegas and he's a private investor. That's a fucking good movie. I mean, they're both fucking good movies. But 
scene where he goes into the casino and he's got all his money. He's got like half a million dollars in, in, in chips, right? And he's sitting there at the blackjack table. And he and, and they're telling him, like, yeah, you should walk away. You should walk away, man. And then he's, like, all in. And I'm like, oh, you stupid motherfucker. And, of course, he loses. He ends up losing. But he's okay with it. Somehow he's okay with it. He doesn't cry. He doesn't get pissed off or nothing. He's just like, eh, kind of figured that would happen. And it's kind of like that old Bob Seger song, you know? Gamblers go into a place, and, you know, when they... Oh, fuck, I forget the lyrics. Well, it's a song called Still the Same. Go listen to it. It's a great song. Bob Seger, Silver Bullet Band. I'll explain everything I can't figure out. That's pretty much gambling. You just kind of you go in there. You know you're going to lose the money, but you're fine with it somehow. Me, I was like, nah, I want to get it. I want to do the Rain Man thing. I want the jackpot. Since I fucked around in the casino, I'll give it an extra five minutes on the stream tonight. But I think what will increase the chances of making it pop up is if I switch sessions. I think, I think it helps if you have at least one other person in your session, but you can get them to pop up in an invite-only session. That they're more likely to pop up if you got someone else in there. Of course, this might be one of those famous last words type situations. Someone's probably going to come along in a buzzard or a something and blow me up. <sighs> Might help if I go off the radar. Oh shit, fuck, 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 fuck. How can I be of service? Oh, okay, of course. call me back once you decide. Oh, you beautiful baby. Ha <laughs> ha! Third time's a charm. All right. Okay, so this episode hasn't been completely up. He said before he crashed his goddamn buzzard. Jesus. Yeah. Story of my life, folks. Hey, Whiskey Boy's optimistic about something. Crash. There's a bunch of artsy, fartsy yuppies. They're easy to take out. Good shoot train. I ain't asking you again. And... Great, now I get to put in the YouTube description that, yeah, we finish up the Solomon Richard. You know what? We still got two minutes left. Son of a bitch. Hey, well, at least we got 50k. Right. Wait a minute. Hang on a second. Four hundred thirty-eight thousand. Oh. Well, looks like we might be driving. Oh, it's probably because I'm in the studio thing. All right. That's racist.
All right, I, I got a hunch here. Since we got enough money, we got four hundred thirty-eight thousand now. I, I'm thinking we might be able to afford one of the businesses, but I can't go on. Um, fortunately, I can't do it through uh, the phone. You have to be on the laptop at the motorcycle. I think it's called Open Road or something. You got to be on that uh, laptop in order to look it up, which kind of sucks, but you know. This helicopter's about to die, so might as well get a little bit of life out of it. For twenty-five thousand, it served us well. If I hadn't taken my eye off the ball when we were going to get that sarcophagus, I uh, probably could have. Uh, Holy shit. Did this guy follow me all the way from Los Santos just to do that? I I applaud his his ambition. Bless his heart. Fuck you, but bless your heart at the same time. Yo, good to see y'all. I'm out, over from LC, looking after these joints. You taking over this clubhouse? All right, all right. I guess you're gonna be starting some kind of MC chapter of your own? This got all the recreational facilities your crew gonna want. Darts, juke, arm wrestling table, working bar, whatever, whatever. Yo, you gotta invite some prospects, get them to join the club, then you lay down the IR. You usually need like a VP, a road captain, a sergeant at arms, definitely an enforcer. You know, something like that. Each role got its own perks and its own responsibilities. Hey, it's good to keep shit organized. Cause there's jobs out there folks will pay an OMC to do. Get them out of trouble with the 5-0, run protection, make hits, you know, whatever. Work goes up on the board and you can take it if you want it. What else you need to know? Uh, uh there's plenty of room to store your bikes. Every club member gets a spot. If y'all want to set up a bike shop, we can make that happen. You got to pay for the work, though, on all those rides. But it's all good, because you got a cat on site. There's a spot where a gun locker can go, should y'all need the artillery stored in the building. And then we got a PC back here on an anonymity network. Ha! Ah, you seen that shit? The feds don't pick you up. You can hook it up with these internet cats to run illicit businesses. Take a look at that shit. For real. You'll thank me. And that's that, baby. I'll be in touch if you're taking any of that club business. Otherwise, enjoy the place. If it ain't the president. <laughs> He's still out there. Come on, man. You're rank 183. You got better things to be doing. All right. So if you're wondering when the hell did I get that, I bought that during one of the mini episodes. I, I did that for that uh, one daily. But, yes, that's, uh, that's basically our bike now. That's the main kick-ass bike. Body 800. It's really good for doing 10-second uh, wheelies. All right, so we got 437,000. I'm not wasting my time on document forgery or cash creation or the weed farm. I'm, I'm Greetings, new strictly going to focus on meth the and cocaine. Of modern technology How often do you get to hear someone say a that in a small in a oasis second. in this desert of our surveillance state? This brief respite from the X-ray gaze of civil servants. Spooks and spouses. So let's use it to make as much moolah as we can. 
Should you like, I can help you produce, market, and sell quality counterfeit documents. Unimpeachable fake cash. Dank ass marijuana. Moorish methamphetamine. Or your realtor's favorite cocaine. With my vast knowledge and your time, effort, and bank, we'll be unstoppable. Please be advised, only one business of each type can be owned. Resupplies and sales are your responsibility. Administrative fees will be charged for every transaction, and your business may draw unwanted attention from law enforcement or other malefactors, but <laughs> that's half the fun. Message me for further details. Your friend, Long John Teabag. All right, so this is uh, a lot more expensive than I remember it being. Yeah, the absolute cheapest biker business you can you can buy is the uh, document forgery up in Grapeseed. And as you can see, that's 650000 But I remember these being, like, different. I, I don't know if I got my numbers mixed up from, cause, like, a, it's been, like, five years since I bought a biker business. So let's see here. Um, all right, let me just give you a quick rundown. These three here, they're not really worth it. I mean, counterfeit cash is good. If you want like an extra thing to juggle, but weed, even though it's giggle, it, it's funny, you know. In real life, it, it's very profitable, but in the, it's in this, it's not, it's not worth your time in this game. Forgeries, absolutely not worth your time. It's bullshit. So really, what you want to focus on is meth and cocaine. And the cheapest one we can get, that's this the one I got with my main character. I bought this ages ago. Never got rid of it. Still my uh, location for meth lab. But might end up making that the location for Wung Hung Lo, too. And the cocaine, the cheapest one we can get for that is in the Alamo Sea. Jesus. Yeah, you know what? That is actually a pretty nice location, but I think I'm going to get this one. Because what you want to do is you want to have some place that's close to Los Santos. Because if you sell, if you have it in the, if you have your, your biker business in the city, and then you select to sell to Blaine County, you'll end up getting a lot more money. If And vice versa, if it's set in Blaine County, you sell to Los Santos, you'll get a lot of money. So, yeah, we got a ways to go yet before we can afford this. But it's a good way, it's, you know, it's good to see it. Now, what else, uh, what else is in here? It's just that, right? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I think, of something I'm, I think I'm thinking of the arcade. The arcade is the one that's got, like, the two different computers. I might be wrong, though. Let me check the boardroom. Alright, so in another episode... We'll do those in another... Uh, some of those you can't do unless you have an extra person in your MC. And some of them you can't... But a lot of them you can do in uh, invite-only sessions. Alright, so... Thanks for watching, everybody. Please uh, like, share, and subscribe. And uh, have a good one.